All right, so in this video, we're going to use Foxy to demonstrate the bed for your dog. Foxy's been with us for a couple of weeks, and she's really doing well with her bed. So we're going to pretend at this point in the video that you haven't introduced the cue word to your dog yet, but they're already demonstrating that they can go to their bed without uh, having that word introduced. So I'm going to lay out the bed, and as soon as her elbows touch the floor, I'm going to mark and reward her with the jackpot. Now, because Foxy's very magnetized to this bed, I'm going to have to release her from the bed. Foxy! Foxy, free! Free! Now we're going to pretend we're at the point where we're going to have to introduce the word. So in this case, we're going to use the word bed. Some people say place, but I prefer the word bed. Foxy! Bed! Yes, good girl! And what I was looking for there was her elbows to touch the, bit, the dog bed. As soon as those elbows hit the bed, that's when I'm going to mark and reward her. Now the biggest thing when working on your bed is the distance, how far can you get away from the dog without them breaking, the duration, how long can you go without them breaking from the bed, and the distraction. So because she's pretty advanced, I'm going to demonstrate what I would do. So if I was new to this, or if she was new to this, I would take one step back, Come back to her and reward her. Yes. And I'd do that five times. And then I would gradually increase it to 10 steps, 20 steps, however many steps you are comfortable with or your dog is comfortable with. And then there's a duration. So how long can your dog go? Well, I don't have any time to uh, demonstrate how long she can stay in the bed for because I know she can do it for about 30 minutes. But I would practice with that time. I would do 30 seconds, then a minute, then two minutes, then five minutes, and so forth. And then there's the distraction. So the distraction can be something as simple as a loud noise. Yes. Or something more complex like somebody knocking at the door. Yes. So it's important when you're working on your duration, your distance, and your distraction that you don't reward from a distance. You've got to come back to your dog. If I were to reward her from a distance and say, why yes, she would jump up and bolt straight to me. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to come back to her and reward her. So, for instance, we're going to pretend that Foxy broke from the bed when I knocked. And actually, for this one, I'm not going to use Foxy. I'm going to use this horse. Pretend it's Foxy, that Foxy broke from the bed. So, somebody knocks at the door, and she broke from her bed. This is Foxy. As soon as I see she broke from the bed, I would say no. I grab her collar and do some collar pops. Just pop her back to her bed. When she's on her bed like this, like this, I would say yes, and reward 